Because if I just put it in the water right now, it's not going to... It's just going to get... It's going to cool off too much, right? I need to pour the molten guy into my delightful mold that I've created. Hmm. Let's see. I wish I remember this part a little bit better. It's been a bit since I did Elemental Workshop 2. I know that, like, um, what does this do? Let's see. Let's just look. You pull the lever and it responds and it, it's been flattened. Okay, good, I guess. Um, I don't know if you can, like, recalibrate that to become a key, but now it's flat. Um... It's not molten, it's just hot. Oh, okay. Alright. Mm -mm -mm. And now it's over here. Alright, so... I gotta put it in there while the water is not inside. Hey, Stoicist. Good evening, my friend. You know what's interesting about um, RuneScape 3 for me? First of all, I've never played old school, and I've actually never played this game at all, so everyone in the chat has played this, knows what this is, or most people, and get nostalgia, whereas I get, like, I don't know what's going on. It's my first time, uh, and it, it gives me nostalgia of a different era of gaming, but not of this game specifically. So it's an interesting experience. Um, all right, so let's close that door. And I guess we turn the valve. I don't think I'm doing the right thing, by the way. I'm just like, you know, messing with this bar, but I, I have bad feeling. Close it. And let me go over here. I'm doing okay? Well, hopefully. God, I hope so. <laughs> uh, let's do this. There goes the water. Alright, and then we open that door. Push it out. Sweet. Push it back in there. Sweet. Close that door. Heck yeah. Alright, let's go over here. All right, and now the uh, the fan thing is gonna blow it. It's easier now because in like I remember in Elemental Workshop two, you know, you had to fix all these machines. All right, do it. Cool it down. It's rumbling. All right, let's turn this off. All right, let's see what we got. Bring it around. I'd have a primed bar. All right. Let's see. Examine it. A primed elemental ingot. So... At this stage, I need to use this key mold, but I need to get the the primed bar to be molten, or boy, um, 
do I need to make two of these bars up front or can I go do something with the one that I have right now? Like what I'm thinking is if I go down here, I don't think this is a, like put my mind on. Let's see. Uh, use the prime bar on the extractor. Am I, am I doing the wrong thing now? Can you guys tell me if I should be using the extractor for this part of the, the quest or if I should be doing something else? What can turn metal into molten metal? Well, the furnace. Um, there's a furnace upstairs, but should I go to it? I mean, can I do this all within the elemental workshop? I guess would be the question. I use the furnace upstairs to to melt down. I mean, there's the lava also, but I don't know if uh, if that's what I want to do. Thank you. Thank you. All right, perfect. All right, use the prime bar on the furnace, I guess. Um, how about use the prime bar on the key mold? Or, all right, let's see. Um, use the key mold on the furnace. No, doesn't like that. All right. Uh, let's see. Maybe I need the lava then. I mean, I have this pipe. Mm hmm. They've got the bellows. They've got the water. All right, let me think about this. Oh, prime bars can't be melted, you're saying? Okay. They're too strong? Hmm. So, does dropping the um, elemental bar into the lava count? Or should I be using the furnace again? for this process. Does this furnace get hot enough to liquefy this? Oh, yeah. Okay, I just used it and it did it. How about that? You make an elemental key using the key mold in your inventory. Okay, well, I didn't think that would work, but it did. Yay! All right, so we got it. I was just going to see what the, the text was. I was going to see that him say, like, I can't do this. All right, sweet. We got a key. Let's see what this is all about. Hmm. Indeed. I don't know why I was just, like, hyper fixated on the lava. I just kept thinking I gotta use the lava for some reason, but no. Alright. And let's go ahead and use the key on the door. We're in. Unlock the door. Ooh, this looks like a more sophisticated part of the workshop. Interesting. Wow, look at this graded floor. All right. Um, what do we have here? Ooh, we got a new music called Body Talk. Oh, that is hilarious. It's kind of like, um, you know, Olivia Newton-John's song. Uh, oh, it's stuck. Examine the door. A metal door, firmly shut. Hmm, okay. Uh, flip the lever. Oh, I can't get to it. Uh, let's see. I can climb down the stairs? Yeah. Hey, Oren. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Welcome to Purgatory. Oh, oh my god, I see. Here's Purgatory, indeed. Um, okay. I just walked down into this. I see the interface. So, on the right over here, there's a special interface. Um... 
Feeble, we're into a, uh, a difficult situation with the puzzle, my friend. All right, let's take a look at this. Oh my god, that's so brutal, Nick, man. Okay. So, let's look at this shape. And... Uh, no. I'm just trying to figure out the interface. Wait, what did I even do? Hmm. Okay, let's think. I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, so... Hmm. Do, do, do. I'm just going to pull stuff, and I see numbers moving up there. Oh, okay. Click the magnifying glass to get out of this view. And then zoom to make it top down. Oh, right. Okay. Well, I also want to just understand, like... This is my open square. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. It's interesting that, um... Okay, let me let me get this thing moving over here and then yeah, I'm like flying the camera itself around. That was interesting for me to get my head around. Okay. Let me zoom in and look at it like this, I suppose. Okay. Near the east cog to see it all. Okay. It looks good. Okay. Now I can see the puzzle, I suppose. Oh, oh, I see what you mean, Sir Theodore. But this is good, right? Or am I not under am I not getting the information I need by doing this? Oh, there's stuff on the walls that I'm do I need to be seeing No, those are just the stairs. Um, okay. So let me just mess around with this for a second. Alright, 4-6. What does 4-6 mean? Oh, freedom camera mode in the settings. Okay. And the east cog. Okay. Yeah, I, I just realized that. You also can't click on the interface with the uh, detached camera, unfortunately. Okay. Do do do. So I'm going to go into settings and I'm going to say what? Uh, controls? Camera? Um, gameplay? Camera. Camera mode, freedom. 
Okay. And then now I can what? See it all? But I need to flip it. Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. All right. Uh, jeez. Now I need to stand a little bit, uh... Alright. Yes, Mr. Kiwi, indeed, thank you. Alright, we got it. Okay, so what we're doing is trying to... This is what I don't understand, what we're doing. There's different levels of this. So you can see there's like Z levels going on here. And I'm trying to figure out like what what happens when I push a button. I shift something over and then this becomes um, the vacant square. It's all so confusing. Let me look at this. Let me take a look. Um, I'm very close to wanting a hint, but let me look one second. Uh, so let's just see what this thing is doing, right? Like, what am I trying to connect? Okay. Now I've moved this. Hmm. <laughs> this is the Ar Atari arcade mode, isn't it? All right, let's think about this. Um, all right, so there's numbers up here. Four and four that are corresponding to something. And then there's different colored blocks, like there's, uh, and then there's this counter and an arrow pointing this way. And if this is spinning, my guess is I need to get all of these gears connected so that they're spinning. Okay, so let's see. I'm just pushing these to see kind of like what is happening in the game. Uh-huh. All right, by pushing this button, this lever right here, I somehow have move this up from this row. And so maybe this is a mini slider puzzle. So then... Oh, it is. It is a mini slider. Okay. So now I need to pull this down again. Oh, except it doesn't come down. Well, that's a problem. I was, I was counting on that block moving. No, not that. I need, um, I need this to move down like that, but maybe it doesn't. Oh no, okay, I see, I see. Now I got it. Okay, here we go. Okay. So can I ask you guys this question? Did I jump the shark by coming down here first? W should I have used like a hammer on the doorway upstairs to get more information? It's a slide puzzle and a pipe puzzle, right. That's what I was kind of thinking. Okay, um, then... Is 
There we go. Uh-huh. Okay, we got it turning. So now this thing is turning. So we're trying to get gears connected to this middle guy so that it moves, I suppose. Okay. Okay, Nick, man, thank you for the offer, my friend. I appreciate that. I am clicking on uh, this one. And there it goes. And then I will move this one over. And then I will push this guy up. And then that guy. Now that guy's moving. Right. I'm not I'm not going to pass it because of the uh moves. I I get it. I didn't know what I was doing at first, and it's also going to be very difficult given the fact that there's multi levels to some of these gears, but we'll see what we can do, right? The the central node here needs something this high and then this needs something that high. Uh so that's that's problematic in and of itself, but at the same time, it looks like if I connect something to the side, then it's going to shoot out power and then turn on this gear. But I don't know if that's accurate or not. Oh, okay. There, there is multiple stages. Okay, that makes sense. All right. But can I just ask? Overall, there was. Yeah, exactly, Mr. Kiwi. They didn't, and that's what I was wondering in general. Like, I just stepped down, and then there was this interface, and there's a puzzle in my face. But is there some place I could have gone? Um, oh, there's a scroll crate over here to like get some any kind of information about like what in God's name is going on. I feel like I missed a step somewhere, you know, some kind of explanation. The diagram says powered and unpowered. Okay, thank you. Wow. All right. So, um, it's like, it's showing me that power on the bottom. What is this? A red on the bottom, gray in the middle, gray house. Unpowered, unpowered, down. Oh, okay. This, I was like, this isn't helping me. All right. Wow. Well, I guess it does make sense, though, if you think about what this quest would be. And, you know, just walk me through the process. But, like, you're just finding some dead experimenter's notes and you're trying to piece together from these scraps what was happening down here in this workshop and that's like all you've got to go on so it does make sense you just are confronted with some kind of crazy puzzle and it's like oh okay 
Um, here we are. Well, I don't know, Sir Theodore. That is a good point. It could be Frank the Polar Bear, for all I know. Okay, uh, or was his name Clark, or... I don't remember. Okay. All right, well, let's see. I've already moved this here, and let me get back into this position so I can see this a little bit better. All right. Yeah, Clark Kent. I do like Clark Kent. All right, um... Push that down. And push that down. And then... Mm-hmm. All right, so I got that moving. You can move a whole row or column in one move? Oh, now that I didn't know. Bond. <laughs> James Bond, the polar bear. Yes, exactly. Okay, so let's see. If I wanted to move this whole column in one move, um, then I just would push this? No. Oh, I see. Maybe I pushed this. Ah, yes, I see, Nick Man. Thank you. Perfect. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, good, Mr. Kiwi. You're ahead of the game for me. I'm trying to just... I don't really know what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to connect all of these gears that I can. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, that much is moving. But I think I may have gotten into a, a bad situation. I need to hit this. I think I need to get this gray block out of the way. So this is forward to hit this little circular gear down here. And I'm praying then that it will turn on this. But, which, but I don't know. That would be my, um, my dream. Oh, it dropped down. Oh, okay, so we did the first part, but I only have 11 moves left. Oh, I can push reset, and then I'm good? Okay. Um... Am I just reset all of my moves? Am I going to have to do that all again, but in a more efficient way? Is that what's going on?